Now we are giving you a look at some of the fall colors starting to show in the mountains there. You can see our photographer captured these images in Boone this morning. Look at those leaves out there. And of course they're doing some <laughs> like some DOT work, but you can see in the background those leaves changing colors, Brad. Yeah, they've slowed down a little because of the warmth this week, so that's kind of extended the leaf season, especially at the higher elevations, but we're a long way from peak in many locations. So if this isn't your weekend ahead to the mountains, you still got the next two weekends, I think, that we should have some really good color up there. Temperatures, it was warm today, mid 80s, 10 degrees above average. We've only cooled down to the low 80s and the upper 70s in many locations, and it's kind of sticky. The dew points, you don't normally feel the air this time of year get this sticky with dew points in the low 60s. We could use some drier air. Now we saw, we saw the mostly sunny skies today, but the cold front I'm tracking is actually out west. This is a pretty nice winter storm for parts of the the Black Hills of South Dakota and the Northern Rockies. This is the remnants of Hurricane Pamela moving into Texas along the front. They're going to get some soaking rains there, but for us, we're going to stay dry and warm the next couple of days. Temperatures tonight only cooling down into the low and mid 60s again, so way above average. In fact, many locations will struggle to get down even to the upper 50s. The average low is in the upper 40s and low 50s, so still way above average. And today was kind of an important date because it is usually uh, the time of year. I always look at the 13th because it is the latest that we've ever hit 90 degrees in Charlotte. It was our record high today, by the way, 91 back in 1954. So it's safe and it's a good idea that or a good uh, kind of idea to use the 13th is kind of the latest you can possibly see 90 degree heat. That was today, but doesn't mean it's not going to be warm. There's the 91 record today. We were 84 tomorrow. The record's 87. That's doable. We could be close to that with 86 tomorrow and then 88 on Friday. That would tie the record. So the records are coming below 90, but our temperatures are actually going back up ahead of this cold front. This cold front arrives probably late Saturday. So until it gets here, that warm southerly and southwesterly flow is going to keep us really hot. But if you're excited for rainfall from that front, don't get too excited because there's not much with it. 30% at best. This looks really isolated. Most of us will not see any rain with that front. It's generally going to be a dry cold front, which means it just moves through with the cooler air and the drier air. Look at the chance of rain there Saturday. That's not much to write home about. In fact, that's going to keep us pretty dry for a while. And next week, the dew points get a break as well. So the air is going to dry out completely as we get some crisp, cool air for this time of the year, but not tomorrow. It's going to be another scorcher back up into the mid. Even some upper 80s could be possible tomorrow with near record highs. The next two days, it's still warm on Saturday because the front doesn't get here until late in the day, so lower 80s. But look at the cool down for next week. Sunday and Monday are pretty cool, but by the middle of next week, those temperatures are actually trending back above average for this time of the year again. Oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> All right, Brad, thank you.